Having a round under par is always a good thing, but looking good and having a round under par is even better. That's why Steve Gotti's Pro Shop is your one-stop shop for that perfect look to make you look like you're part of the PGA Tour. Find the latest in Nike, Puma, Callaway, and K-State and Kansas apparel. And if your mechanics need a little tweaking, give Steve a call for your lesson. Steve Gotti's Pro Shop, 620-792-4306, located at the club at Stone Ridge, Great Bend. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Gotcha here, former PGA Tour professional, now the head pro here at Stone Ridge Golf Club in Great Bend, Kansas. I've been asked a lot of questions here lately. How do you spin a golf ball? Well, there's several ways. A, kind of depends on the golf ball that you're using. I have in my right hand a premium golf ball. It's a Callaway Hex Hot, which is made to spin, control, soft. Also, I have a range ball, which is not. It's kind of a hard ball made to go far pretty straight so you think you're hitting it good on the range okay so how we create lie a lot of this is depicted by what kind of lie we have where we've hit our drive today I've got two or three choices here I've got a normal lie on the fairway so I should be able to get to the ball what also happens folks is when the ball, when the club comes into the ball it will come in this way hitting the ball first creating spin okay so if you're late hit it on the top or chunk it it's not going to spin Okay. Also, what is, depends on spin is your lie. So it depends how much grass gets between you and the face of the club. So if I have a normal lie here, I should be able to spin it okay. So we'll try this one. We're out roughly 65 yards or so. So get set up in your normal iron shot. Hit it, and we'll see what happens. Okay. Also, now, when you've hit this shot, we have a bare dirt lie here. What is going to happen here is you're going to get the ball a little quicker. It will also pinch it against the ground. So this ball should spin a lot off a lie like this. Let's say you're on bare dirt or a real thin, firmly cut fairway. You'll be able to spin it more. So when hitting this shot, I would play the ball back in my stance a little bit just so I can get to the ball first. Okay, and this ball should spin quite a bit more off a lie like that. And now we found our ball just slightly in the rough here. As you notice, the ball is covered mostly by grass, so it's hard to get the club on the ball first. A lot of times the grass will get in between you and the ball, and the ball will kind of squirt out of there. It's called a flyer. This ball will not spin, so you have to control it by thinking ahead of time, trying to hit it a little short of the green and run it up. Same technique, though. Okay. If you need any more help with your golf game, please contact your local PGA professional. The people who care are at Grove Chiropractic and Sports Injury. They specialize in all joint pain and sports injuries. If you're suffering from headaches, neck pain, or lower back pain, make an appointment with Grove Chiropractic and Sports Medicine. Dr. Jesse Grove will work with you on a program that's just right for you. Let him relieve your pain and allow you to return to your normal routine. And see Dr. Grove if you're in need of acupuncture treatment. They're accepting new patients at Grove Chiropractic and Sports Injury at 1309 Williams in Great Bend.